Hello, I'm a Gex Slicker, and welcome back to the video. Today, I want to talk about parrots in Minecraft. They're one of the most attention grabbing and just intriguing mobs that the game has added for quite some time now. I think we can all agree on that much, right? However, the thing about parrots that's interesting to me is not their core behavior, you know, the fact that they're so cute and they sit on your shoulders and isn't wonderful. It's actually still of the Easter eggs that they contain within them because there's a bunch of Easter eggs to do with the parrot in Minecraft, which I think are some of the best Easter eggs Minecraft has to offer. And I figured why not share them with you in today's video? So, yeah, here's some uh, parrot Easter eggs. Hopefully, you all do enjoy the video. Like if you do like it. <laughs> Helps out the channel and let's know you do like Easter eggs to do of the parrot. I mean, look at them, they sit on your shoulders, isn't that wonderful? So, yeah, with that said, let's get straight into it already, shall we? And let's start with the very first parrot Easter egg, and we'll kind of go in like ascending order of how big these are because there's the coolest one we'll get to later. But yeah, let's start with the uh, first one here, which is to do with parrots being referenced in the game long before they did come to it. So, this is something you might have seen before if you've played a lot of Minecraft because there's a very rare chance of getting a splash screen which, set, which says, Don't feed avocados to parrots. If you don't know, this is like a long standing reference to parrots coming before they did come, which is kind of cool by itself, but also. Also, uh, it's a cool reference to the way the parrots are fed in Minecraft today. Because if you don't know, you shouldn't feed parrots to Minecraft. Uh, you shouldn't feed sorry, avocados to parrots because they're, you know, it's actually poisons them. It's a really, really bad idea. Don't do it. And the interesting thing about it is when they put parrots into the game itself, they're not tamed with avocados, but they're tamed with cookies, which if you don't know, is also poisonous to parrots. So yeah, that's, it's a cool little reference to the way they worked in the future. And I just love that, you know, like parrots have been something they've clearly wanted for a while now because of all the just tiny references they've had, including the splash screen that's already, you know, on every version. Uh, dedicated to them, which I quite like. So with that said, let's move on to the second Easter egg to do with the parrots. So we're gonna have to jump and get these guys off me right now. So sorry, parrots. But yeah, let's move on to the second Easter egg to do with parrots, which is the fact that they actually, you know, if you have one tamed, like these ones here, and then you do something terrible, I'm sorry, I have to do this. Um, but if you kill a parrot, then it will say in the little bottom left that the parrot was slain by Toy Cat. That's right, parrots are people, damn it. That is, <laughs> that is a real confirmable thing. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is kind of similar to the other pet mobs, but it shows the parrots are, pr you know, everyone values the parrots and they value them enough that they really want them to have their own little thing. So let's actually uh, turn off that day, uh, you know, that rain that just turned on. And let's move on to the third Easter egg to do with parrots, which is, uh, again, this is a really cool one because I guess it matches their real life behavior. If you don't, you know, I'm sure we all know the parrots in real life. They mock the mobs nearby them. And uh, that's uh, also true in Minecraft. So if we quickly, this is going to be kind of tricky to set up, but if we quickly uh, place a zombie in there and then lock them in, you'll notice how there's like going to be some zombie noises. And after a little bit, so uh, I'll give you some listening time. Okay, do you hear that right there? You can hear there's the main zombie noise, but you you can then also <laughs> you can then also hear just afterwards some of the parrots are mocking it. You can probably hear that in the backgrounds I'm talking right now. And uh, if you're curious as to yeah exactly like what's well, what that exactly means, it's because yeah the parrots will mock the noise of any mob nearby. If that mob makes a noise, they'll do a tiny little mocking version because again in real life they're known for you know like being able to mock a human voice and like do it over again. That is what they do in game two, and they can do it to any hostile mob. And because they're passive themselves, they can just sit there and mock the mob all day, and he's that you know he'll just get a little bit upset, but he can't do anything about it. So yeah, as well as being to mock every mob in the game, which is a cool part of their functionality. They can also mock creepers. It's not very impressive. I gave it a quick try. It's you, it's not, you know, a, a very good hissing sound, but they can kind of mock the creepers hiss, which is just kind of a funny way to scare your friends. So yeah, get a creeper, get some parrots, scare your friends off by making uh, miniature hiss noises. Uh, that's why I love about parrots, the fact that they do have that little thing attached to them. So let's move on to the fourth Easter egg now, which um, is going to, of course, be the fact that, it, you know, this is an existing Easter egg, but it looks so cool, right, cool on parrots, is if you name them Didabone, they will, of course, turn upside down. So, by the way, here are the five colors of parrots. So, we got a red parrot, we got a blue parrot, a, a light blue parrot, we got a green parrot, and a gray parrot, all sitting on their respective blocks. Uh, but if we name them Dinnerbone, using our name tag like we've got right here, we can have an upside down parrot. So, if we want to, we can have an upside down green parrot, and they'll sit like that. They'll fly in a pretty crazy way to, you're not too sure to show what flying to, uh, they'll fly in a pretty crazy way too. Basically, if you if you name them Dinnerbone, you get one of the wackiest upside down mobs, in my opinion, because this is the first, like, true flying big mob, you know, besides the Bat, but that's not a big mob, so this is the first like true flying mob in my opinion. And uh, yeah, you can turn them upside down if you really want to. But the craziest thing is not just that, because you know, really he should be flying off to show how cool it is. But I guess, I, I guess my dinner bone, uh, you know, green par uh, parrot doesn't really care. But the most interesting thing about them, in my opinion, has to be the jukebox Easter egg. So if you haven't seen this yet, you're in for a treat. It's the fact that if you place a music disc into a ch uh, chest nearby them, in this case we'll use chirp because it's wonderful. Um, you, you just just get ready and see what's going to happen. As you can see, <laughs> oh. 
when when our, when parrots are anywhere near a jukebox, they will dance to the or well, not to the river, but they'll dance nearby it, and they can change colours. That's right, colour changing parrots in tune with the music. It is the most amazing little feature, and the coolest thing about it is the moment you stop, they just say, "Oh yeah, we, we've been like this for, uh, normally." So yeah, party parrots are one of my favourite Easter eggs in the game now, and it's like a proximity effect, so you have to be within like four blocks of it for it to take effect. So you can see only these two parrots will change colour, then this one will kind of shake, and these these guys don't care about the music, they can't hear it, and isn't that just a wonderful little thing? And yeah, if you want, you can use multiple uh, music discs to make this happen. It gets a little la loud and noisy if you do that, so wouldn't recommend it, but still, isn't that wonderful? I, I think that's really wonderful, and that is uh, probably the coolest Easter egg they've ever put into Minecraft adult. I mean, it's, they're party parrots. What what more do I need to sell you on anything besides the, the two-word sentence, party parrots? That's all I want to ask, and <laughs> see, they're, kind of <laughs> they're shaking an outfit as they walk fast. Um, anyway, I hope you did all enjoy today's video. I hope you learned a thing or two about parrots and Easter eggs in Minecraft. Um, like the video if you did like it, because it helps out the channel a lot, and let's know you do like Minecraft Easter eggs. Share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here, because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel, and if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Thank you all very much for watching. I don't know where he just went. Is he my shoulder? Okay, yes. Uh, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.